Welcome everyone. Hello. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about our finger numbers. And we are also going to be learning a simple finger exercise that's going to get all 10 of our fingers exercising and making them strong. Uh, all right, let's go to our finger numbers. Uh, first of all, fingers, uh, thumbs are one in both hands. So let's wiggle our thumbs and say one. Say it out loud if you can, one. And then pointer fingers are two. Middle fingers, three. Ring fingers, four and pinky fingers five. And when you play piano, you want to curve your fingers. You want to play them uh, curved, sort of like you're holding a baseball. Um, you don't want to generally play with straight fingers. This is going to tire your hand out. So even the thumb's going to be a little bit curved as you play, okay? Um, now, so let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's reverse it, five, four, three, two, one. It's helpful if you say it out loud as you go. Let's mix it up a little bit. One, five, three, four. It's a ring finger. Two, pointed fingers. Back to one. Good. Congratulations. You just learned your finger numbers for playing piano. All right, I'm going to teach you a basic finger exercise. I'm going to start with a simple form of it, and then I'm going to make it just a little bit more challenging and interesting. So you're going to start by just playing five notes up and down, and then move over a note. Okay, and we're going to start on middle C. Middle C is next to the two black notes. We've got two black notes. The piano, we find ourselves around, we found our, we navigate our way on the piano by the black notes. Two, three, two, three, etc. Okay. Here's the two black notes, and to the left of those is middle C. We're right in the center of the keyboard here. Uh, you'll know that because the name of the piano is on your piano, or uh, it's just right in the center of your keyboard. So there's our middle C. And so we'll start on C, all five fingers up and down with those nice curved fingers, okay? We're going to lift our hand and move over a note to D. And do it again nice and slow and even and we keep going and etc and you'll just keep working your way up and then you can work your way down same thing with your left hand um, if you want to start with one down to five and backwards that's fine or uh, maybe even better start with your pinky finger five four three two one two three four five Let's try that again. Five, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna keep a nice, steady, even tempo. We're gonna lift our hand, lift the whole hand upward, move over to the D note and do it again. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna lift and go to E. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do the last one here. F, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. There we go, okay? Now, uh, we're gonna make it just a tiny bit more challenging and interesting here. Um, this is gonna be a figure exercise called Hannon number one. Hannon was a music teacher and he wrote a book uh, with fabulous exercises to make your fingers strong and agile. And uh, his exercise number one is what we just did, except you're going to skip a note. You're going to start a middle C in the right hand with the thumb, and then you're going to skip a note. You're going to leave a space, not going to play the D. You're going to go right to the E, and then all five fingers up and down, just like that. C, skip a note for five, four, three, two. Now, when I come back down, I'm not going to play C again. I'm going to go immediately to D. So D, gonna skip a note again between one and two, gonna leave a space. When I come back down, don't play D, go right to E. And we continue onward, okay? So there we go. Let's try that from the beginning again. I'm gonna take it nice and slow, starting on C, ready, begin. C, skip. Now to D. D, skip, 
And if this is too fast, you can adjust your settings and slow down the YouTube video if you wish. And F, skip. Now to G, G, skip. Gonna do two more going up. A, skip. Now last one, B, skip. Now I could stop here and just play a C note to make it sound finished. Now if you want sort of first week extra credit and you wanna try coming downward, you may. That may be too confusing for your brain. No worries, wait a week, okay? But if you want to come down, here's our, here's our last one going up. Now, instead of ending on C, my pinky is already on the G note, so I'm just gonna leave my hand where it is, but now I'm going to reverse it. It's sort of a mirror image of what we just played. So starting on the G note, gonna leave a space between five and four coming down. Let me do that again. G, skip a note, but not a finger. And feel free to lift. You don't have to hold the notes. That can be a little bit tense in your hand here. So just let go, let go. Five to four, leaving that space, and then back upwards. Now, F, skip a note. Coming back up, now to E, skip a note. D, skip. Down and then back up. C. One, two, three, four. Now to B. B, skip. We're gonna do two more. A, skip. And then G, skip. And when I get to here, if I want to make it sound finish, just add a back that middle C note, the first note you played, and that makes it sound finished. And that's hand and exercise number one, okay? You do the same thing with your left hand. Five, skip a note, up and down. So let's do that. Starting with the five, and we're gonna skip a note. Again, let go as you go. Ready, begin. Five, skip. Now to D, D, skip. extra work this first week G skip downwards so we're going to reverse it one skip a note but not a finger skipping a note downward and then back up when we come back up not gonna play the G we're gonna go right to that F note reversing okay now E E skip or so, maybe you can do two hands together. Parallel motion, up and down. Like that, like so, okay? And eventually you'll go uh, very fast, okay? If you have a little clicker at home or a drum machine or something uh, to help you keep a steady uh, beat, that would be great. Slow and steady is the key here. Um, if your fingers are getting tired, especially four and five, just kind of take, take it easy, uh, take a break, um, and uh, if you practice every day, I promise you, you'll get stronger and better at this wonderful exercise.